hi there thank you for joining in this lesson we're going to talk high level compassion and and also the different important considerations when you're trying to design vnet to vnet peering or maybe vnet to vnet connection or side to side connection or maybe even as you're expressed out but within this lecture we are primarily focused on these three topics that's a virtual network peering and vnet to vnet connection and side to side connection so that we will know what is happening in the technical background and we know that when we will be using if you have already completed all of these uh, configurations part you can this lecture will be useful for you to understand what's happening in the back end and also uh, when you when to use and what kind of technology it's using and where we will take as a design consideration First thing first, we know that we can use a VNet peering to create a connection between multiple different virtual networks. Let's say here you have a different VNet1 and VNet2. You can do that uh, and it can be crossed or maybe subscription, cross subscription or cross region and so on. In other way, we are actually trying to establish connection with the VNet uh, peering virtual network peering from one isolated network to another isolated network in this scenario we are not using anything called VPN gateway but in the real world we can achieve this with the VPN gateway there's a component within Microsoft Azure portal called virtual network gateway so within this virtual network gateway you can achieve the similar configuration with the end goal of connecting different uh, virtual networks you see here uh, you have the options let's say you have a test vnet and maybe east US, and you also have another uh, region maybe west US. and whatever the resources here you have you wanted to you know make a connection so that both can communicate so this same thing can be configured with the help of VNet2, VNet connectivity by introducing in each of these VNets a device called VPN gateway. So now you know that there is a specific configuration is required in terms of VNet2, VNet connectivity that's called VPN gateway. Within this VPN gateway, there would be a public IP will be assigned here. Similarly, other side of the west side region also if you have another VPN gateway, uh, you will need to assign a public IP. So what would happen is this IP will dial to this IP. Similarly, this IP also will dial here. And in the to connect with these two uh, devices or the VPN gateways, it needs to have some kind of you know, handshaking and also a shade key. So that shade key is a secret. Uh, secret uh, characters so if both are matching that secret characters it will establish a connection with the help of either ipsec tunnel so the connection whatever it's uh, transferring the data would be completely encrypted and this vpn gateway will work with something called a gateway subnet that needs to be created and associated with your vnet so the first part would be here uh, building blocks would be the first part vnet and then you need to create something called a subnet gateway and then you introduce this a device or the software appliance called a vpn gateway and remember that when you deploy this it takes close to 45 minutes time in the back end to completely provision a dedicated vpn gateway for your vnet so just to summarize uh, the public ip addresses that two vpn gateways can establish a connection that allows the secure and private connection with the help of your ipsec tunnel and uh, it is a special tunnel that is completely going to be encrypted all the traffic between these two networks so this entire design primarily designed or originally designed for your hybrid connectivity so that the so that the side-to-side -side connection uh, with azure or to your on-premises network can be established so if you look at here the device is the same device which can also use used not only just for the vnet to vnet connectivity it also can be used for your side to side connectivity let's say you have a vpn device on your on-premises and um, you can establish a connection but that device must be supported in terms of the vpn gateway handshake and other uh, standard uh, protocols and that has been documented within the vpn gateway uh, supported appliances 
for a minute if we go back and uh, summarize between the vnet peering and the vnet to vnet connectivity both are supporting similar to the features like cross subscription cross region connectivity however uh, just to understand that vnet peering we are going to be used uh, in the back end as the Microsoft uh, backbone for your private IP because that doesn't require any public IP connectivity and within your Microsoft Azure network it's gonna communicate whereas with VNet to VNet connectivity definitely when you introduce a VPN gateway the uh, IP address will be uh, needs to have the public IP in fact you can have primary and the secondary public IP also so that for the higher availability purpose and this entire communication can be encrypted so in in the real world we can use either vnet to vnet connectivity or virtual network to virtual network peering options also let's summarize with the comparison between vnet peering as well as the vpn gateway so when you use the vnet peering it is designed for vnet to vnet connectivity whereas it is designed originally for the vpn gateway is originally designed for hybrid connectivity to site to site or point to site connection the key differences uh, for the virtual network gateways would be if you are in need of some kind of compliance or standard point of view where you need to have repeating gateways and that must be support of uh, transitive of routing which which we know it's not supported in vnet peering and then uh, for the encryption and other purpose you would definitely fall back to vpn gateways uh, configuration with the uh, vpn gateway interaction and if you don't have to use your encryption and you don't uh, need to have your transitive of routing then vnet uh, uh, peering is a purpose built for uh, connecting your vnet together and uh, you know that it's going to be a private and with the low latency interconnectivity uh, which uses across the microsoft backbone network so that's a way that's where you're going to use the vnet peering so these are the key differences uh, in terms of vnet connectivity as well as the vnet peering I hope this lecture is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.